Here, all systems are go for launch, so let's listen into the terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 transports the Cosmos SkyMed satellite into orbit. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. In Boca El Duco. Go Falcon, go Cosmo. Vehicle is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the Cosmos SkyMed satellite to a polar sun synchronous orbit. Power and telemetry nominal. Now during ascent, we tilt the engines and that's what we call gimbling. And that turns the rocket horizontally. That's what we call a gravity turn. We're still going up, but we're now also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. The rocket typically needs to go Falcon about- Falcon 9 is supersonic. We need to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to earth. Max Q. And there we heard the call out for max Q. We have now passed through the maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load on the vehicle. And with that, we do have five events coming up back to back. They'll happen within seconds of each other. And these events include the first stage uh, making its way back to landing zone one today. So we'll have Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, a flip of the first stage, SES-1, or second stage engine Impact start kilo, one, and then followed immediately by the boost back burn on the first stage. Again, that's five events happening within seconds of each other. We should get some good views of these happening. Again, that is Miko, stage separation, S1 Vehicles flip. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Good call outs there. So stage one flip, SES-1, and the boost back burn coming up here in a few seconds. Nico. Stage separation. Stage one, boost.